Hi guys! Welcome to the third part of pajamas holder tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the rest of pattern. Now uh, we have to finish the body. So cut a few loops exactly the same like you did in part one. And you can find find link for part one and part two in description of this video or above the right corner. Okay, and now I'm going to just uh, pull the loop in front of the first loop to the first loop, like this. So I'm going to do it again. So just pull the following loop through the previous loop and repeat it again and continue working like this all the way around so you can pause the video and then meet me back again at the end of this round of this last round And you can see. Okay, now I'm at the end of the round and now just you need to pull the tail through the last loop and you can use yarn needle if you want or your fingers, but you need this uh, tail saw inside the body. I will use my yarn needle because it's more comfortable for me and hide it inside the body. And of course it will be the best when you will hide it uh, on the wrong side. Okay, now you can pick what uh, side you want. So it's up to you. If you, if you pick this side it will looks nice because because of this chain i'm going to show you the chain will be around the head so it will looks nice it will look nice or you can pick the other side as well so it's up to you uh, if you if you pick this side or the other side if you pick this side for uh, for sewing of hat you should turn it like this and then you can sew the hat to the body and use invisible stitch and I have a single video how to sew individual parts together so click the link above the right corner or in description of this video and now i'm going to i'm going to show you just where you should uh, where you should insert your needle you should go through the loop through the chain it, it looks like chain then to the head stitch one stitch to the head and back to the body but between these chains okay and then into the middle of chain and repeat it again and always use just sewing thread not the yarn Okay, and also you can make this neck warmer. It looks like neck warmer. So make a few uh, rounds or exactly the same like the body and make five or, or six rounds and sew it to the head. 
Always use sewing thread if you need to sew individual parts to the loop knitting yarn. So use the invisible stitch and sewing thread also for sewing of arms and legs and sew it around. So sew it on both sides. It's better. I used white sewing thread so you can see anything. <laughs> it's hidden inside. Okay, and now we are going to make the fastening. So you need a little longer the rubber band uh, than is the circumference of the lower part of the body. And you can measure it and cut it. And it's up to you where you will place these two ends of the rubber band. So you can hide it inside the body or just leave it at the end uh, of the fastening. And now I'm going to use yarn needle because it's more comfortable than my fingers. And now just pull the rubber band like this around. So pull it like this. So you will you you will make a few stitches by this way around. Okay, and now you can use the pink thing. I don't know what it's called still. Uh, maybe someone help me. <laughs> you can write me below the video if you know what it's called. In, in English, uh, I have no idea what it's called. But you can pull it through like this and just make a slip knot, then you can cut the both, both ends and use uh, lighter or how I said you can hide this slip knot um, inside the body. So it would be on the other side. Okay, and kids can wear pajamas and sleep with pajamas holder or they can keep their pajamas inside the pajamas holder. So I think it's great and cute idea for kids. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to make ears of bunny. So, take the chenille yarn, the same color like a hat of bunny, and make a slip knot. Then chain 18. And I'm working with 5 mm crochet hook. Okay, now I want to make a circle, so join, join it uh, with a slip stitch, insert your hook into the first chain, grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. And we have circle. Just make sure it's not twisted. And now 
you can hide this tail behind your work but it's better when you will keep the starting tail longer because you will use it for sewing now chain one and make one single crochet in each chain around and then i will work in a round because it's more comfortable for me if you want to work like you always do so if you want to start every round with chain one chain one and then uh, finish the round with a slip stitch you can it's up to you so one single crochet in each chain around Okay, I'm at the end of the, of the round, so I need to finish the round with a slip stitch and then I will work in a round, like I said, because it's more comfortable for me. So now I'm going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make six rounds together. I will make also lion, I mean pajamas holder, but it will be lion. And if you want me to make video for use, let me know below. If there will be enough of use, I will make it for you. So make one single crochet in each stitch uh, all the way around and make six rounds together. Okay, now we need to increase two times. So make two single crochets in the first stitch and then you will increase on the other side as well. So in this round we have to decrease two times. So now make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side. And on the other side you have to increase again. So make two single crochets in the same stitch and then make again one single crochet in each stitch to the end. Okay, I am at the end of the round and now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. Okay, and now we have to increase again. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets and then you have to increase again on the other side. So now make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side. So in this round we are increasing again two times and then you will make again two rounds of single crochets. So in this round we have to increase twice again. So here make two single crochets in the same stitch and then make again one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round and then you will make again one single crochet in each stitch around and make two rounds together. So it's the second series and you have to make two more series. So repeat it again and uh, you have to make it together four times. So you should make 12 rounds.
Okay, and now we have to decrease. So we are going to decrease the first stitch, make two single crochets together. So insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops. This is two single crochets together and you will repeat it again on the other side. So now make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side and we will continue exactly the same like before but we will decrease. Okay. I am on the other side, so now you have to decrease again, make two single crochets together and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. Then we have to make again two rounds of single crochets, so it will be two rounds without change, without decrease, without increase. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. And you will repeat this series, series um, together five times. So you should make 15 rounds together. So you will decrease always on the same place on the beginning and then on the other side and you will do it five times together. Okay, if it's not understandable for you enough, just write me here below the video and I will help you with pleasure. And you can see nice shape of ear. And now we have to decrease again and we are going to decrease every stitch so make two single crochets together by two single crochets together I will not just decrease uh, decrease, decrease it uh, to the end because it's better when you will finish it with uh, sewing. Uh, I'm sorry, with yarn needle. It will look nicer than then you will make uh, two single crochets together in last two stitches. Okay, this is last decrease and how I said I'm going to use yarn needle now. So just cut the yarn, pull it through and use yarn needle. And make just a few stitches around like this. And then you will make exactly the same way also the second ear. And I will uh, sew both ears to the head of bunny with uh, the chenille yarn, with this yarn, not with sewing thread. That's why you should keep the starting tail uh, longer. Okay, um, that's all. And I'm going to show you how I saw the, the end of yarn inside the part, inside the, the, the ear. So 
So just go somewhere here, more down and just copy single crochets like this and go always up and back. Copy the single crochet and go up and like this. Don't tighten it much. And like this, just sew it inside, then lead the tail somewhere, uh, somewhere in the middle of here, and you can cut the yarn. Okay, and that's all. <laughs> Okay, then just fold over the lower part of ear and sew it to the head where you will place ears, it's up to you. <laughs> just um, one tip from me, you should sew both sides together with yarn and yarn needle like this. Make a few stitches and sew it together. Then it will be better when you sew the ear to the head. Okay, and this is how my bunny looks like and you can use yarn, chenille yarn and sew what you want, for example, hairs or what you want. And when you will sew arms and legs to the body, you should uh, join both sides together with yarn needle like you did with uh, bunny ears because it's better okay and that's all from me I hope you like the bunny if you do I'll be glad for thumb up and if you don't subscribe my channel yet click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss any of my video then so I will look forward at the next video be careful in this hard time and have a great day see you soon bye bye